Xavier, you woke up a Carolina Panther. Did you have to pinch yourself? Say it one more time. You said you woke up a Carolina Panther this morning. Did you have to pinch yourself a little bit? Oh, no, nah, oh, no, nah, man. I woke up ready, man. I got a call right after I got dressed. They was coming to pick me up at 930 in the morning. I told them I'm going to be ready. <laughs> feeling like when you got the call because I saw the emotion in your face in the video but what were those mo emotions overly excited my whole time and I really was trying to hold my tears in for real man I told my folks I wasn't gonna crack I was trying to be tough guy but man hey, I was really over excited <laughs> did, you, did you ever think when you played UNC just a couple months ago that you'd end up kind of returning here and, and playing for this team oh yeah man well I, I knew I knew they was in the talks of, of my range of where I was going to be able to fall um, uh, and I'm excited that it happened the way it did. You had a great final season. What do you think was different last year than the previous seasons for you? No, um, I just say the availability, the availability part of it. I was more available this year. This was the most healthiest season I had all my five years at South Carolina. Same here. How much did you see from Spencer Rattler that kind of changed your play perspective as a player? Um, and I say. What I say, I, I think it, the best thing that happened for me and him was Coach Dow Loggins coming to be the offensive coordinator this year. Um, I think it, 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 him coming in, it, we, we was more comfortable this year than the previous year. Have you had a chance yet to meet Bryce? And if so, how did that conversation go? Oh, no, so I haven't really met him yet, but he texted me last night. He told me, man, he, he happy to work with me, man. I just texted back and said, man, let's get to it. Also, I know you had the uh, the town hall party that was kind of loud. Oh yeah. But did you happen to hear how Goodell pronounced your name? Oh yeah, man. He he said it right. He said I it. Know he said Liga. Oh yeah, that's how I tell everybody just to hold it. Make sure you say it with two E's. Okay. Let's show. Okay. Let's show. Uh, there's you've got quite a few former teammates on this team? Have you talked to him yet, J.C., Jamie? Oh, yeah, man. I talked to Jamie Robinson. I haven't talked to J.C. yet. He might have texted me, but, uh, you know, a whole lot of folks would text me, man. But I'm going to make sure I call all them boys today. Xavier, you come from a talent rich area in the PD. Obviously, you have guys like Kobe Durant, Darius Leonard, and even Byron Young that have come through. But now you're the first first-round pick from that area since 07. What's that significance to you, and how proud are you to represent that area? Oh, man, man, well, man. Just – Knowing the background of my area, man, I'm very excited, man, to be able to show the, the younger folks that's that's coming up, man, that they can, that they are able to do the things they want to do, and they are able to accomplish their dream. Xavier, I know you hit the ground running since you got out of the car this morning. Has it felt a little bit like a fever dream, or has it kind of set in yet? Yeah, you're really here. This is Really, man, like I say, man, I'm really excited, man. And when I got out of the car, just seeing all the fans, and they have, they, they show me that they have it out. I was the, the pick, so man, I, I, it really haven't hit me yet, man. But I'm, I'm starting to feel it as, as the day keep going. Xavier, I don't know if you heard about Bryce Young's father listing you by name as a weapon he would want for his son to play with. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you when you hear guys, you know, parents and family saying they want you to be playing alongside him? Oh um, well, I seen a couple of things of that going around on Twitter, man, but uh. I mean, he sees something in me, man. That's really what it is. Xavier, when you look back, all you've been through, not only in your life, but the four or five years in South Carolina, this, do you kind of like pinch yourself too and just think a year ago this this necessarily wasn't what everybody thought? Oh, yeah, was man. Oh, yeah, thing? man, for sure, man. Because a year ago, man, I wasn't on anybody's board, but I never let that get to me, man. I just knew I had an extra year, and I knew this was the do or die season for me, man. I had to do it or go home. Is there, is there a guy that you, growing up, kind of idolized or kind of watched and said, hey, I want to play like this player? Oh, yeah, man, Odell Beckham. He was one of the guys that I first started watching, but I had to realize I wasn't his side. We well, don't move the side, so I, I, I started looking at a lot of the other bigger guys like the DK Metcalf, the Keenan Allens, the Devontae Adams, the Debo's, and that's it. Yeah, so. Xavier, you're – Last season started here in the stadium. Oh yeah, you had a big game. There were a lot of eyeballs on that game with Drake May playing. Do you think that was kind of like your hello world moment? Oh man, I say what what really gave, what really had the folks that put them to notice was all them 50 50 catches I was making. I think that's really what put it on notice for real, man. Hey, everybody keeps saying that was my coming out party. 
Hey, so. How do you think your game could help Bryce Young on the field? Oh, man, I, I think just, just my ability to do the things that I was able to put on display this season, I think that, that like, it's, it, it kind of speaks for itself in a sense. So I think um, I, I, I can help the team out in a, in a, in a couple of areas. Hey, Alex talks a lot about self-awareness, and he mentioned that with you yesterday. Um, do you recall a conversation that you had with him where, where he brought that up and, and what that was like? Oh, no, so we never really talked about that. We just kept everything cool. Ask about self-awareness. How would you describe that? Would you? Oh man. Oh, I don't really know how to put that in a in a way, man. Xavier, obviously, what are when you think of that Dave Canales? What are your first impressions of him? Oh man, I, I think he's a real blue-collar guy. I think he's really serious about his work, and he, he he's gonna build his program up. Uh, does his energy, is that interesting to you? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. The first impression is always everything. I feel like he came off towards me with good energy and great, and he had a great, I had a great impression for him. Do you see any similarities between him and Shane Beamer? Oh, yeah, man. Like I say, I think Cole Beamer, he's serious about his job, too, man. Yeah, so. Is it obviously the first thing that the first round was a possibility for you? Was it during the season, during the process, or maybe not even up till next Oh, man, well. Through the process, everybody been telling me everything, man. But uh, I knew I knew what my agent been telling me my range was. I mean, I just was waiting to hear what my, what my name was going to be Kyle. What are the ways that the Panthers kind of told you throughout this process? They kind of the roles they envisioned for you, and, and maybe some different roles too than just receiving. Oh man, I say they just was telling me that they think that I'm a great player, and. They they seen the things that I was putting on display throughout the year, and that's just what it was. Your accent has garnered a lot of attention. Have you seen what they've been saying about your accent and how much people really love it? Oh yeah, man, they've been dragging it all over social media. <laughs> they've been dragging it all over social media, man. I just tell folk, man, they really just ain't never heard nobody talk for money. <laughs> I have. I'm from South Carolina, so I get it. Do you have any nicknames? Do people from home call you a certain? They call me Zebra. Zaber. 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 Yeah. Okay. Where did that come from? How did that originate? Say what was up? How did that originate? Oh, I don't know. My cousins, they just started coming, man. It's stuck. Xavier, a lot of people have draft parties at sports bars or hotels. I think you told us last night yours was at the town hall. Yes, sir. How did that come to be? Oh um, man, was that that was really the only spot we had in Mother's to be able to do that, and uh, I, I just wanted to keep it kind of small, just keep it just family or to for real, man. So I invited certain folks. Oh yeah, well, I'm sorry. How many people would you say were there? I say only about 65 people was there, but uh, I plan to do something big to my community for my community just to show them that I appreciate. Them. You had mentioned that when you come to Charlotte, you. Visit Jamie, and we know that's one of your friends. What do you know about the city? Have you spent some time here? You oh, man, well, you know, it's pretty close to my hometown, so anytime we wanted to visit somewhere big, it was either here or Atlanta, so I'd have been here plenty of time. I think, I think it's a good vibe around here. Next, you were talking about Spencer earlier. Obviously, there's hopes he'll hear his name called today. Just what did your relationship with him mean to you and help you get to this point? Oh, man, I say, man, my relationship with Spencer, man, it, it, it had built up through his his years at South Carolina. I think he's a very good person, man, and even uh, and him on uh, on the field, it kind of speaks for itself, man. His arm talent is crazy. Uh, riding horses? Oh, yeah, ever since I was a little boy. Yeah. Oh, why? Who, who got you into that? I'm, I say my uncle. My, 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 my dad, he, we do everything on the wild last like night. So I do a little bit of everything. Okay. Did you go to any Panthers game growing up? Um, I've been to about one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been about one guy. Which one? Oh, shoot, I can't remember. I know it was when Cam Newton and Kevin Benjamin well. How excited are you for your second Panthers game? Hey, man, hey, boy, well, it's going to be my, my real first guy. <laughs> hey, I'm really excited for that. All right, well, thank you very much. Oh, man, I appreciate you. Hey, what number are you going to win? I need to show you. Thank you.